Alabama Senator Tommy Tuberville currently holding up hundreds of military promotions over the Pentagon's abortion policy. The policy offers time off and travel reimbursement to service members who have to travel out of state for an abortion. And now for the first time since 1859, the Marine Corps is operating without a Senate-confirmed commandant with us now. Somebody who's been through Senate confirmations, General Philip Breedlove, retired four-star in the U.S. Air Force, former NATO Supreme Allied Commander. It's good to see you, sir. Thank you. Uh, if you listen to Democrats on this, they say the, the national security is really being hurt here. I've heard that also from, from folks in the Pentagon. Do you think it's it's gone that far? Well, first of all, thanks for having me back on. Yeah. Uh, um, there is no good coming from it, I can assure you that. Um, I, I, I try to, as you know, avoid politics, so I'd rather not, you know, discuss sort of the political implications. But what you do have are positions of authority and in some cases, positions of command. I recently attended uh, a change of command where the individual will go into the next position in an inappropriate rank. Uh, and that's going to probably change the way he's seen throughout his, uh, his tour there, starting in one rank and then attaining another. So there, these things are uh, tools that have been used in the past. They have implications that that very few um, understand. If you have a moment, I'd like to offer you another side of this problem. And that is the personal side of this problem. When you right. have things like this held up, we, we think about the individual, like this gentleman I just mentioned, who will go into a position that is supposed to be for one rank, but he will arrive in a different one. And likely that's the way he'll be seen for most of his time there. Uh, since that's how people were seen. But on the flip side of that, we have families that are not moving because the the individual, male or female, can't move until they attain, attain the rank or until they're confirmed because they can't assume that they're going to be confirmed. And, and so you have families, wives, children are going to end up moving in the middle of school years rather than at, before the school year in the summer, et cetera, et cetera. And so yeah. what is not often seen is the human cost of this at the family level. Yeah, we, we actually had a graphic made for that because that's what I've heard also from my sources inside the Pentagon is the, the effect on morale, right? Here you are, you become either a, a colonel or a, a lieutenant colonel, colonel, uh, on your way to being a general officer or a general officer. You have children who are in high school or college. Kids can't move. Military spouses can't accept new jobs. Uh, you've got huge moving costs. Obviously, it normally happens in the summer for obvious reasons. Now it's not, on and on and on. I know you don't want to get into the politics of this, but let me put it, let me come at it a slightly different way, which is one of the great things about America is an apolitical military. It is a professional military that res reports to a civilian political commander in chief. And, and that is unique, really, in, in the way it was started in the 1700s and has moved on. One of the geniuses of the founders. That said, once you start playing politics with the military, which is what's being done now, what effect does that have, obviously, on the, the personal level to people? But if all of a sudden I'm a lieutenant colonel and I'm seeing you know, my family being really negatively affected because of politics, how does that not politicize the military? Well, this is a problem. And what we, what we cannot do is allow that uh, the reactions of officers become associated with uh, animus towards someone because of a political action taken. We, if we begin to create officers that are seen to be picked for their political association, that will be a major issue for our military. And if we yeah. have officers who are looking at these actions and seeing them as, you know, personal actions, against them, and they're not, I don't believe that. But if they see this as animus towards them, then you might drive officers to a more political position. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider.
And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.